Hi and welcome to Heal My Hemorrhoids, in this video you will learn why there is blood in stool when you suffer from hemorrhoids, so watch the whole video to the end to get all of the tips you need. Remember to hit the subscribe and like button if you get help from this video. When you see blood in the stool, on the outside of the stool, or when wiping after a bowel movement is common. Mostly the causes of seeing blood in stool are caused by hemorrhoids or anal fissures. To be sure what's causing hemorrhoid blood in stool you may want to be examined by a healthcare provider. Hemorrhoids can lead to bleeding in some people that generate hemorrhoid blood in stool most of the time. It's actually the enlarged veins in the rectum or also known as the piles. Once hemorrhoids bleed, a person may experience unbearable pain, discomfort, and simply losing some blood over time. Without proper handling, hemorrhoid blood in the stool can continue and even get worse. Why do hemorrhoids bleed? Hemorrhoids can bleed as their surface gets damaged by the passing hard stool. Constipation is the main condition where hemorrhoids can be easily damaged and bleeding especially when it's thrombosed. As you wiping after a bowel, the blood would leave marks on the toilet paper as a result of the bleeding. There are two hemorrhoids including external hemorrhoids that develop just under the skin in the anus opening and the ones that develop in the rectum called internal hemorrhoids. Thrombosed hemorrhoids are a condition where the vein develops a blood clot. This condition would cause pain, inflammation, and discomfort as long as it occurs. Even if it's not dangerous, treatment is required to relieve the symptom. Whether it's internal or external hemorrhoids, they can develop into thrombosed hemorrhoids. They all can be bleeding as they get pressure from a constipated regular bowel. How are bleeding hemorrhoids treated? When you notice hemorrhoid blood on the stool or as you wipe, the hemorrhoid surface could have been damaged or irritated. In most cases, bleeding hemorrhoids can self-heal but there are some at-home treatments you can do to soothe the symptom and boost the healing process. There are also chances where bleeding hemorrhoids continue to develop and you'd need to see a doctor if it doesn't stop within 7 days. The condition may refer to a more serious health problem like inflammatory bowel disease or even cancer. It's very important to get diagnosed as hemorrhoid blood on stool continue to occur. Ignoring the continuous occurrence of bleeding hemorrhoids could be dangerous. The more important thing about hemorrhoid at home treatment is to keep hygiene in the anal area and to reduce the inflammation. Once you experience an itchy, painful hemorrhoid, take these treatments. Soaking in sits bath. In order to relieve the pain, you can soak your anal area in warm water. Taking a sitz bath allows you to relax from the symptom and you can extend the experience by adding Epsom salts to the warm water. Cold compressing. You can reduce the inflammation and soothe the pain in the area by sitting on the towel wrapped cold pack. Take 20 minutes per session to avoid freezing. Wiping mostly and gently. The general rule when having hemorrhoids is to wipe the anal area softly with a moist towelette. Avoid using rough toilet paper or the ones with irritants or fragrances for after bowel wiping. Maintaining bowel time. You need to avoid prolonged bowel sessions as it can depress hemorrhoids and cause bleeding to develop. Only sit on the toilet when you really need to bowel. Using topical cream or medicate suppository. There are some products available for treating hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids are treatable with medicated suppository while topical cream is for treating external hemorrhoids. Keep hydrated and fiber intake. Another general rule is to avoid constipation for stopping hemorrhoid blood on the stool and you can achieve it in two ways. First, keep yourself hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Second, eat high fiber foods including vegetables, fresh fruits, and grains. Whenever necessary, you can consider taking fiber supplements to evenly smooth the bowel movement. Stool softener. Don't let constipation prolonged, take a stool softener to avoid pressure due to hard stool, and promote regular bowel. For regular intake, you may consider products containing polyethylene glycol that help soften stools that direct liquids to your digestive tract. Staying active and healthy. Movements help prevent constipation that worsens hemorrhoids. That's you need to maintain physical activities and stay active throughout the day. When the hemorrhoids continue to develop and at home treatments don't relieve the symptom, you'd have to see a doctor for a medical treatment that may include non-surgical treatment and surgical procedure. Rubber band ligation. 
A tiny rubber band is inserted into internal hemorrhoids to help restrict blood flow. The successful application would shrink and drop the developing hemorrhoids. Sclerotherapy. A medicated solution is injected into hemorrhoids to shrink and drop the developing hemorrhoids. Infrared coagulation. This method aims to reduce the blood supply to internal hemorrhoids that eventually calm the inflammation. Electrocoagulation. The method applies an electrical current to dry up bleeding hemorrhoids. Whenever successful, the treatment would end with dropped dried hemorrhoids. Doctors would recommend more advanced treatment that involves anesthesia and surgery if you have severe bleeding hemorrhoids. These include the conditions where hemorrhoid has been prolapsed or already come and hang out of the rectum so it's visible. Advanced treatments are provided based on the type of hemorrhoids and how severe they are. Hemorrhoidectomy. A surgical procedure to remove complicated external hemorrhoids and or prolapsed internal hemorrhoids. Stapled hemorrhoidectomy. A surgical procedure where prolapsed hemorrhoids attached back into the rectum using surgical staples. The procedure aims to shrink the hemorrhoids by changing the blood supply to it. Doppler-guided hemorrhoid artery ligation. The advanced procedure firstly identifies the hemorrhoid blood flow using ultrasound so the surgeon can cut off the blood supply to it. The result of the DGHAL procedure is the shrinking hemorrhoids. Patients with severe hemorrhoids may experience recurrence that becomes the downside of the procedure. In the end, bleeding hemorrhoids is something that shouldn't be ignored. It's highly advisable to see a doctor whenever you notice hemorrhoid blood in stool occurring. At-home treatments may relieve the pain, reduce inflammation, and provide you with comfort. However, whenever hemorrhoid bleeding is continuously developing, medical treatment could be an inevitable option. Most importantly, any sign of bleeding hemorrhoids should be diagnosed to ensure the actual cause and condition. Medical diagnosis is also important to determine the proper treatment and care. When should I worry about rectal bleeding? When most rectal bleeding is caused by non-serious causes as we talked about in this article, rectal bleeding can also be caused by cancerous and precancerous conditions. Precancerous polyps at the end of the colon can when they bleed look the same as it was hemorrhoids. These can be in the colon for years before they become cancerous. Removing them from the colon is safe and this prevents the polyps from developing into cancer. If a patient has ignored rectal bleeding for years colon cancer can be diagnosed, because the patient thought it was from hemorrhoids. As we get older polyps and colon cancer become more common, so, therefore, an investigation from what the rectal bleeding becomes more important as we enter the age of 40 to 50 years. You can get more information about your questions and concerns regarding medical problems from your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. I hope you got help from this video. For more articles and videos go to healmyhemorrhoids.com.